Sawadikap, I'm JP Mestanza. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. The extension of the amnesty on foreigner stay in Thailand has been approved by the cabinet in Bangkok, although it won't go into effect until the official announcement, which is expected soon. The approval was made yesterday, confirmed in the minutes of the cabinet meeting, and it states that the visa amnesty, which was set to expire on July 31st, will be extended until September 26th. The 90-day reporting for foreigners residing in Thailand will also be suspended. The news is music to the ears of so many foreigners who found themselves stuck in Thailand because of travel restrictions due to COVID-19. Again, a spokesman said that an official announcement is expected soon with more details, but work permits are still an issue, especially in the education sector. It's unclear if the visa amnesty extension will address this, but the Association of Private School for Non-Formal Education, they're seeking a relaxation of the restrictions for foreign teachers and students. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, many foreign teachers left Thailand, causing a massive shortage of foreign teachers in the country, leaving schools and agencies to hire foreigners on tourist visas as teachers. It seems simple enough Except in order to work legally in Thailand, these foreigners are required to leave the country and then return. The group is saying that the COVID-19 travel restrictions, not to mention the risk of infections and costly quarantine, it's all too much and they're asking the government to relax this requirement among others. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. It's official the state of emergency for Thailand has been approved for another month until August 31st, with the spokesman saying that it is necessary to combat the spread of the novel coronavirus as the country slowly and cautiously reopens. The emergency decree allowed the government to restrict arrivals, follow up with suspected cases of COVID-19, and impose disease control measures on all business and activities. The extension was proposed by the Secretary General of the National Security Council, General Somsak Rumsit, who cited rising cases in neighboring countries as a big reason for the extension. Still, activists and other critics have repeatedly accused the government of using the emergency decree to stifle dissent and freedoms. Just last week, three protests took place in Chiang Mai, Ubon Ratatani, and a massive one in Bangkok's Democracy Monument, calling for the end of the decree, a new constitution, and the resignation of the premier. Just yesterday, Prime Minister Prayut chan said, quote, We are not using these laws against protesters, but what I'm worried about is their movements, which authorities would have to manage carefully, he said. I understand the youths, but at the same time, I'm also worried for their parents. More protests are said to be planned nationwide in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, six new coronavirus cases in Thailand today, all of them Thais coming off of flights from Egypt, the UK and the United States, as the total rises to 3,261 since the outbreak began, with 96% recovered, no new local confirmed COVID-19 infections for 58 days straight now. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. In order to help gain momentum in resolving Phuket's crippling water supply situation, Phuket Governor Narong Wuncheo is to attend a meeting with the Cabinet Committee today. The move to take the island's water supply woes to the top follows Phuket Provincial Water Works Authority Chief Graison Mohammed confirming that no work has begun on the Pangna pipeline, which would draw water from the mainland and is considered a vital part of staving off future crisis on the island. The Pangna pipeline would cost 3.5 billion baht and essentially brings water from a canal that runs through Pangna town all the way to the northern tip of Phuket in Maikau. The pipeline project is stuck in bureaucratic red tape at the moment, and it's just one of three solutions that the governor was said to propose today, including the building of a desalination plant on the island and a 20 million baht expansion of the Bangyao Dam Reservoir in Srisuthorn, so it can store 10 million cubic meters of water. Water levels on the island's three main reservoirs were critically low in April and are still not replenished forcing Phuket officials to make deals for access to private water sources. But while the COVID-19 pandemic has stifled tourism and therefore less water is needed at the moment, Phuket's water demands have been rising 12% every year for the past decade, according to the governor, saying now is a good time to prepare for whenever water demand will rise once again, as the tourists are expected to return at some point. Demand for tap water in Phuket which currently stands at 80 million cubic meters, 
will rise to 112 million by 2032. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. A proposal is being floated around and let us know your comments what your thoughts are on this. The Department of Corrections is considering using foreign inmates to teach English to fellow prisoners to supplement their occupational training. The idea was mentioned by the Justice Minister and the Labor Minister as they look to address the unemployment problem for ex-convicts. Skills training was provided to over 8,000 inmates last year across Thailand, and they've selected about 20 to 30,000 inmates for occupational training this year. At the moment, there are about 2,000 foreign inmates in prisons across Thailand, and the Corrections Department is in the process of identifying which inmates could teach English to others, and what Justice Minister Somsak says could be a major step forward for prisoners and youths in corrections programs to be able to return to society with greater job opportunities. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching today's episode brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.